Um, I've just written to Jeremy Corbyn to resign from the front bench. Um, I agreed to serve on Jeremy's front bench uh, for a number of reasons. Um, I had very well publicised differences with him on foreign policy and defence and national security. But I recognised the mandate that Jeremy had been given uh, by the party. And I also have areas where I wholeheartedly agree with him. So on, why have you resigned? Um, on tax credits, climate change, many other issues, fighting the trade union bill. I was proud to lead that work. Um, but fundamentally, I, I agree with everything that Pat McFadden said uh, about terrorism and national security and about... Uh, uh, not being seen to develop a narrative that this is somehow the West that's responsible. And I have to look at my own conscience in that situation. And, and when an individual like that has been singled out um, for a sacking um, for words that I completely agree with, I think it's only the honourable thing for me to do um, to also tend to my resignation. But, uh, Mr. He, but Mr Corbyn's people say that uh, Pat McFadden was not fired for his remarks about terrorism. Uh, he was fired for, as I have it here, disloyalty to well, the leadership. Well, it, it's simply not true. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, it's really, really sad, actually, that the, the number of uh, lies and, and, and unfortunate statements that are coming out from uh, the leader's office about the situation. I was with Pat just after um, he was informed, and it was very clear what he had been told uh, were the reasons for his uh, sacking. And, and he's a team member. He's an extremely principled individual who um, has served under numerous Labour governments. Um, he's always been very clear about his own views, but he's loyally served the party, uh, both in government and opposition. And when an individual like that, my own colleague in a team, um, is singled out that way for views that I also hold myself. I think it's only honourable for myself also to leave the front bench. So are you saying that we should not believe that we're being told lies by Mr Corbyn's team? Well, you, you, you know, that's up to you what you think, Andrew. I mean, I, I, I think that things that are being said, that are being briefed out, that I've seen being briefed out this morning, are simply not true. Undoubtedly, they'll do it about other individuals. Undoubtedly, they'll do it about me. And unfortunately, um, uh, one of the reasons I agreed to serve under Jeremy was actually his, his comments about new politics, about being open, about being transparent, about being honest, and about being straight talking. And certainly that seemed to be the case for the first few weeks and months of his, of his leadership. And I was perfectly content with that, even on areas where I disagreed with him. His decision to give a free vote on Syria was absolutely right. Um, but unfortunately, there is a, a tendency of some of those around him and in his team um, to be conducting some pretty unpleasant operations against people who've loyally served the party uh, in government and opposition. But in addition, one of those. Um, and there are others too. And, um, and in I think addition really to Mr. Regretted. McFadden I think, and I think, I think uh, it's extremely Mr. Regret Duggar? It's extremely regrettable, some of the stuff that I've seen um, and I'm aware of that's been going on. Um, and I think when it comes down to it, Andrew, when we're talking about issues about national security, about defence, um, about uh, terrorism, you know, I've got very very, very firm views on these things. I know that many, many colleagues share the same views. Um, and we cannot in any way seem to be, be seen to be equivocating over those. And unfortunately, when an individual like Pat is singled out for his comments on those very issues, um, that, you know, as I said, is a matter of conscience for me. And I don't think, given I would have said exactly the same things, that I should continue on the front bench in that situation.